Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Wednesday night stream. Oh, I'm tired. It's been a long day. Foundation guys are pretty much done. We have a little bit of landscaping to do, and they got to fix this tap. Doesn't that? Foundation looks great. I think super duper exciting today. We're going to continue working on the warbler. Do some shorts, maybe. Do, 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 do. We'll give it some, some time, see who wanders in, and then I will get to work. You know, that sort of thing. Uh, so, probably won't do anything tomorrow, but, and you probably won't see it until Sunday. But Sunday, I'm going to probably be setting up my stream room back on the other side now that the foundation's fixed. Because that's where I preferred it. Because of the way the lights are now I have set up. That light right there is right in the doorway. <laughs> so I have to move it every single time I stream. And it's really, really annoying. And being right near the doorway like this, I can't move around. Uh, I can't even work out properly because the other light's like right there and it's got this huge thing on it. So, so probably for su Sunday night stream. Yeah. You'll see me in a, I'll be in a different spot, which is exciting. I'll get back to where I was and I, I like that side of the room much better than this side. And now that I got the proper lighting, I can turn off that light that was ahead of me. That was the only issue I had with being down there, was that I had an overhead light. And now I can just turn that, turn it off. And then I have these two. And then I have a small lamp over here as a fill light. So. Yay. So that's going to be exciting. More stuff in the back for you guys to look at while I'm streaming. So, uh, I'm going to plug my game right now at the beginning of the stream so that people watching this on YouTube can see it. New game coming out 28th. It's, I made it myself with a lot of help from some people who helped me with the code. Um, you know who you are. Thank you very much. Um, it's, it's it's technically up on Steam right now, but I'm waiting for them to review it. They've already reviewed it once, and I forgot. I, I want to add achievements to the game later. So I clicked achievements, and they're like, dude, you don't have any achievements in your game. You can't have achievements clicked. So I unclicked it and submitted it again. So hopefully by tomorrow I should hear. And then uh, the 28th, I can release it. To the masses and hopefully it does well i've got almost 30 on a wish list and i think i've got over three thousand impressions that was a mosquito i don't know how it got down here but i didn't break anybody's eardrums i hate mosquitoes <laughs> i hate bugs of any kind um so yeah it's all cool. So yeah, go, there's a link in the about section of my Steam and I'll put it in the comments of the video on YouTube. Go and wishlist it, please. Even if you don't buy it, just wishlist it. <laughs> don't try to kill George. <laughs> 
Yeah. George is about to get his ass <clears throat> kicked. Um, yeah. So do that for me, please, as a favor. But buy it because it's a fun game and it's only five bucks American. I don't know what it is, Canadian, probably six bucks, but four ninety nine for like a couple hours of entertainment. It's better than the movies. Okay. Uh, well, it's been almost 10 or over 10 minutes and nobody else showing up. So I'm going to get to work. Because I'm only going to stream for an hour tonight because I am tired. And I need some, the house needs some sleep. We've been up at pretty much dawn every day be around for the uh, contractors okay so these shorts are very very simple shorts they're not nothing super fantastically amazing about them so let's go um, I'm not putting a, a H in there. There's no H. More blur. I hate this keyboard. More blur. Shorts. H P four. Hi, Polly. Hey, Cabot. Thanks for joining in, dude. Um. Okay, so these, something I forgot to mention last stream, this pants and shirt are the new generics. So these have been fixed. All the clipping issues have been dealt with. So these will work awesome in the Avatar Builder. Um, and they were, um, I fixed them and then they were given to Synapsis and he rigged them and weighted them. So should work. I've noticed it takes about, Almost 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes for people to realize, hey, I'm streaming. Let's go watch him. Okay, so let's turn this off. And we're going to divide this. Okay. So now what I need to do, uh, I need to look at some, like I got a pair of shorts on that are very similar to the, um, they're almost like skater shorts, right? Yeah, very straight legged. Yeah, like simple. Yeah, okay. We'll keep them really, really simple. I'm going to go just, if I remember, they go just above the knee because he's got knee pads. Yeah, okay. So let's turn off the shirt so we can see what we're doing here. All right. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, like I said, keep them really simple. Because I've made so many other pairs of pants that have all wonderful, amazing detail in them. Um, I think I need a pair that are just kind of simple. Uh, yeah, let's see what that does. Actually, I'm going to take that first off.
Let's do what kind of a waistband do we want? Try making it a bit bigger. No, that'll work. Maybe I'll put some strings so that they look like they're, um, so do we want this for the bottom, bottom hem? Okay. Or something like this. Yeah, I think that would be more like it. Okay, so this was like literally Probably just hide that leg, couldn't I? That's not gonna work. Uh, I want to do this. Let's try this again. That, I can I gotta figure out how to use hotkeys more. So I would like to be able to way of doing this. <laughs> Whatever. Nobody's gonna nobody's gonna notice. That works. Doesn't have to be It's going, I am. It's going. I'm tired, man. But here I am. I'm doing this for you guys. I'd rather be sleeping. <laughs> no, it's going good, dude. Plugging away. Thanks for uh, joining in, buddy.
Appreciate it. I can't remember how to do it. Um, there's a way to unhide everything and I can't remember. There it is. But it didn't work. Did I not have X on? Of course not. Oh, I'm such a nerd. Okay, let's try this again. This time we'll turn X on. <laughs> I do not remember that one. Um, I don't think I uh, watched that one. Okay, so right about there is where I need his. That's annoying. I, I hate, I wish there was a way to like, I wish there was a way to just tell it, Hey, I want to go around this object and it would just do it because it's, it gets really messy if you don't, like I said, nobody's going to notice. I'm good at hiding things. I did it again. Oh, I must have turned it off. I'm such an idiot. This stuff is so frustrating to do. <sighs> okay, let's try this again. I'm just going to do it like this. Okay, so where's this stupid knee again? Here. Yeah, it's going to be just about there. That is so annoying. Okay. Yeah, it's, um, there's things about ZBrush I wish were better. Um, like going around a leg like this is really, really frustrating because 
nine times out of ten, I have to I have to be finesse it, and now I have to do this. And there's probably an easier way of doing this, but I've I've never found it. And I've looked, I've looked all over the internet, talked to people. I mean, there's. I wish ZBrush did this sort of stuff better, because it it relies so much on brushes. That I think the brushes should be a, a little bit more sophisticated than this. Okay, I think that's gonna work. It looks okay. It's not. It's not fantastic, but um, like I wish I could do like. And this is off the top of my head. I wish I could like click once and then click again. And it would say, okay, I sense, because the program knows. Um, so like click, click and have it and take that brush and put it around it. Like, like, I mean, it wouldn't be very hard to code that. So these are supposed to be, see, I can't do that. See, this is the problem with generics. They're too, these generics are too tight. They're not, um, they're not straight legged. So it's hard to put. Yeah, I am. Trust me, if I had if I had the ability, I'd put more time into this, but I just don't. I've got so many other things on the go. Really, the time I put in streaming is really max time that I have for this game right now. So... Uh, I could do this and then drop it down, maybe. Just want to put a little extra folds in here to give it. That's the danger of not using symmetry. Look at that. It doesn't, it doesn't add up completely. <laughs> oh, well. enough.
think there's a couple of us that stream. There's not very many. We all don't have either the equipment or the time. And the only reason I have a machine in the system I do is because I sold my Mustang a few years ago and I used that money to upgrade my computer. As we get closer to launch, I think we'll get more people streaming. I should have music playing. Because we have people that know about quests and stuff. If we could get them to stream quests and stuff and missions and guides and stuff like that, that would be cool. Would be fun. Yeah, I don't do any gaming on my channel. I only do art. So, um, City of Titans would be the exception. It'd probably be the only game. I probably won't even stream my own games because I want people. I need a new video card so bad. <laughs> Actually, I need a new computer. My uh, the fact that I have to run my video card on an, on an eight times slot because my 16 times is busted is very frustrating. It's coming along. On. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button again. What is going on here? I'm wondering if the batteries on my keyboard are starting to die.
That's a cool seam. I didn't even know I had that one. It's kind of cool. I'll have to use that someday. Yeah, I think those are gonna. I think those are gonna work. Semi-realistic, I think, is what we're going for, right, Frog? I don't think... We don't want to go super realistic, because that's just... Yeah. And super realistic graphics, you got to have a pretty high-end machine. So... It would be cool, though, to eventually have shaders so that we could have your character like have like a borderland shader or something like that so you can have your character look different that'd be cool sometime down the road yeah I went off <laughs> went off on a uh, I can't draw a straight line to save my life. I'm not good at straight lines. Yeah, see, this is where this line should have been. All right, should have been here. There we go. Now this is off. I mean, it takes practice, I guess. So now, with that in place, can I do... Yeah, that looks a little better. I think the I think the system requirements for the game are going to be quite low. They're not going to be as high as you'd think they would be. We're optimizing things pretty good. That I'm better. I'm happy with that now that that line is straight. <laughs> it looked weird. see it I don't even think you can 
see it. I don't even not sure if it's worth it. Like there's some detail there's just no point putting in here because you're not gonna see it. Like that stitch, you don't see it unless you're right up close. So there's really no point putting it in there. Like I said, this is semi-realistic. I need something better than that. Um, maybe this. Just want these to be a bit more defined. do I'm wondering if I should do an end seam of some kind yeah. that looks a little better Uh, a thousand be an understatement. Yeah, I have many, many pieces left to make. And that's, that's only the stuff that's mandated for NPC stuff. That's not my own stuff. Like that Titan armor, that's not anywhere in the game yet. They'll probably, probably add it somewhere. That's funny, Frog. My uh, my i7 upstairs, my Predator has a 970 in it. And it runs my game really, really well on high settings. And that's a brand new Unreal 5 game. I think that's good, guys. I think that's going to be a nice... That's a nice pair of shorts. Yeah, well, um, I put 32 megs in mine because I knew I'd be running 3D and, and After Effects and all that stuff in class. So I actually put a bigger SSD in it and I put a bigger, I doubled the RAM because I knew I'd need it and boy, did I ever need it. Oh yeah, costumes. Yeah, that was going to say good, good point. Costumes is something we'll never stop making. There will always be stuff being made. Like, I've got so much on the go. But this NPC, NPC stuff, it's kind of top of the list right now. Maybe once I get this NPC done... Completely, maybe I'll do a fun piece next. Might be fun. All right. So, we are going to export this bad boy out.
Well, that's doing that. I can get a uh, character generator up and running. How much time do I have? I don't think I'll have enough time to put it in the character generator tonight, but we will get, we will be able to do, uh, we'll texture it. We'll do the character generator tomorrow, or, uh, yeah, tomorrow night. Am I going to have to do what I did? Yeah, I'm going to have to do what I did last night. I'm going to have to... So you guys can see what I'm doing. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, like I showed last night, when I tried, because these have a um, rigging and binding and, all, and um, morphs already on them, if I try using it to bake with, it messes everything up. So I have to go in here and I have to strip it. So we strip it like that, which sends it back to its default. We're going to take off the skin too. And we'll take that off. So basically, I need to reset this back to zero. And then I export this out like this. going to put for use in substance. Because the location is different. Like you'll notice in in ZBrush the pants are straight up and down, right? So and you notice when I brought the pants into substance they were basically up like this they were down upside down so if i tried to bake that low poly to the high poly that i just made in here it basically the uvs would be flipped so it wouldn't it won't bake so that's why i have to go in and do that um are you done yet okay so we're gonna drop you down we're gonna drop you down i'm gonna grab Substance painter. We're gonna do new. I'm gonna grab the new generic I just made. And then we're gonna go into textures and we're gonna bake the high poly I just made. Don't we have like 
aren't we setting up like random scripts? So it'll automatically choose from the, uh, like a certain amount of, like we give it parameters and it makes random people from those parameters. That didn't work. I don't think that baked, did it? Oh, it did too. Wow, that was quick. It never bakes that quick. Hmm. <laughs> okay, for this part, I'm gonna pull my pull it back over here because I don't like typing on that other keyboard. Yeah, that's what I thought. I mean, because that, that makes sense, right? We have a character generator, and I would not use it, right? Yeah, he uh, does that a lot, doesn't he? But that show that's good though cuz that show he's he's improving, right? We have an offline mode, don't we? I think we do. If you watch the if you watch the pre alpha that's on my site or on my YouTube, I am there when you look at the menu, there's actual an offline there is an offline mode. I'm pretty sure if it wasn't there, we. I need my eyes. Ugh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Maybe for testing out characters to see how you like the costume and stuff. bulletin board i had my computer underneath my de um, my bed and at three or four or five in the morning you hear my modem going off people logging on to my bbs that was hilarious good times yeah i miss those times i mean everything is so fast now you know like 
I remember when I got my first big hard drive. It was a 6.4 gigabyte Bigfoot. The thing was huge. I remember it was massive. Did I? Oh, okay, I'll get that in a minute. Um, and I remember trying to get... I would, couldn't figure out why it wasn't seeing the whole thing in Windows until I realized I had to had to format it. That was, it was uh, pretty fun. I miss those days. My first computer had an 80 meg hard drive, <laughs> 80 megabytes. It's huge. I'm trying to remember. Is it two megs? I think I had two megs. It was a it was a, D, a 386 DX40 is what I had with two megs of RAM and a 80 gig hard drive. It was ridiculous. I, I when I think back, and I was so happy. Like that was my first computer, really. Like I, I had other ones like Vic twenties and Commodores sixty fours and stuff like that. But it was never. I don't know. It. They were computers back then. They were considered a computer, but today they'd be like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't go back that far. I didn't get it. I didn't really get introduced com to computers until I was like <sighs> the first real computer I saw was my uncle. He had a. Oh, it was a big deal. I can't remember the name of it. It had one mega RAM. It that was a huge deal. It was a. It was. I think it was a Commodore of some kind. And it had one mega RAM. That was the first computer I, I really got introduced to. And then the Commodore and the VIC-20 came later because they were obsolete and people were just giving them away. So many good times with print shop. Do you remember print shop? That was the that was the bomb back then. Print shop was the bomb. showing my age. <laughs> but then again, a lot of the devs on the team are close to my age. Okay. I think that's good.
So we'll throw some mats on this so you guys can see. It. I do this also for the for my um for my thumbnail for the video as well. That's the other reason I do this. And the main reason is so you guys can see what it looked like, get an idea what it looked like in game, but it also gives me something so I can take a screenshot for my thumbnail. And then I save another copy. That way I can play with this and not screw up my original. This is ridiculous. Like substance painter is so so silly. It's so good. having some fun. for something fabric. You should try it. I probably no, you need a video card. You wouldn't be able to put a decent video card in that. That'd be cool though if you could. I remember in, when I was in my IT course, this is going back to like 2000s. Um our professor had somehow gotten Windows 3.1 to run on a modern machine at the time, probably like a Pentium 4. He somehow got it to run and it just, it was, the boot up was ridiculous. Like he pushed a button and he didn't even have time to take his finger away from the button and Windows was already at the desktop. It was ridiculous. Really do need some more materials in here. on this and then I will copy this mask and place it here Boom. that's how that works
I like how this has got like built-in folds and stuff. That's so cool. Can I turn these? I can too. Look at that. That's cool. So you could make it match. Yeah, maybe. I have to clear it with Cabot, I think, but I, I'd like to make some kind of a, like, I know we have Clicky Cape, but I'd like to make some kind of a mobile game for the, for, as a, like, um, it's like an offshoot. Kind of like a, um, a companion to City of Titans. I'm getting pretty good with Unreal, so. I don't like this. Uh, I'm probably going to go back and change this. Not a big fan of the... Uh... I'm going to have to redo these uh, soffits. I don't like those. The pants themselves, or the shorts themselves, look great. I just don't like these. And I'm starting to wonder... just yeah leave those open like that fix this and then have this a separate thing it looks much better like that Plants and minions. That'd be fun. Like a uh, like a wave, like a like a zombie wave type thing, but with plants and minions. That'd be fun to make. That wouldn't be too hard to make. There's a denim. Let's try this denim. See, that's better. Okay. 
looks a little better. Yeah, I need to fix these. So before I do a screenshot, I'm going to probably fix these because I don't like them. The rest of it looks fine. I mean, these, this stuff should be giving me more detail too. Someone's. Just not satisfied with these guys. I think they need a little bit more refinement. And this happens sometimes where I go back and forth like this. Yeah, see, they look great here, but for some reason they're not. I'm losing all my detail. Like, there's no detail at all. Something's not right. Yeah, see, I'm losing. I've lost all my detail. You notice the, uh, like, even, the, even these here. You go back. All the details gone. Uh, I don't know why it's doing that. It's baked properly. I just need to bring the detail out more, I guess. Maybe I'll go up one more level. And uh, sculpt in some better detail. But we'll do that tomorrow night. We'll work on these. We'll get, we'll get them better, guys. I don't know what happened there, but for some reason, some, something went wrong with the bake. I need to figure that out. I don't know if it's because... Acting. Well, it just, I don't know, it just doesn't look right. I mean, that's a little better. And it looks a little better. I'll put some more detail in this tomorrow, guys. I just, uh, I'm not, I won't lose this. Like I can, I can rebake this. But.
I'll refine it a bit more tomorrow. And, uh, I'm going over here. I'm going to save as. I save these. I did too, didn't I? I am trying to think while I'm doing this. Have there has there been something I haven't shown? I think I've shown everything that's ready to be shown. I have there's stuff I have, but it's not not near anywhere ready. So I think we're going to call it there for tonight, guys. And thank you all for watching. Um, yeah, once we get this warbler done, then I'll do something fun. Let's see where we're at. I might even do a raffle. We'll see how I feel. This week has been really tough because the contractors and waking up early. And, and I've started back working out so i'm even extra tired my body's got to get used to it so lots of factors but i'm glad you could all come and hang out with me Don't forget to follow if you haven't and subscribe and all that stuff yeah thanks again for following and all that stuff and uh i well it's only that way for at the very beginning because i haven't done it in so long it takes my body a while to adjust it's like when i went on my diet i got headaches for like two straight weeks because that was my body detoxifying itself but once the toxins were gone i can go all day without eating like my body's so used to it now and i went from about 180 ish down to 160 ish in about three months on the diet i was on and now that i've got my body fat down to it where it's decent i'm going to start working out and now i'm on a on a different diet where i'm not taking in any starch I found that I have an issue. I have an issue with starch. I don't know why, but especially potatoes. Holy smokes! And I love potatoes, man. I'm Scottish. I love potatoes. Bring in the drinkies. No, that's another thing. Sugar. <laughs> it took sugar right out of my diet. I've cut bread out. I've cut potatoes out. I've cut sugar out. And I've cut dairy out. And I tell you, I feel so much better. The only reason I'm tired is because we haven't been able to sleep lately and because I have started working out. Normally, I've got lots of energy. Sunday is going to be cool. I have, uh, there's a bunch of us going out to the sand dunes to ride quads. So I'm very, very, very excited about doing that on sun on Sunday. Once I get going, I lift, I lift stupid heavy too. Very low reps, very high weight. Yeah. My warm-up sets are with 90 pounds, put it that way. 
for curls. Anyway, enough talk about that. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, very much appreciated. And uh, once I get moved back over there and things start to normalize, the streams will go up. And I'll start doing some really cool stuff. I know the NPC stuff is kind of boring, but... Like I said, I'm only allotted three to five hours a week to work on City of Titans because of my wife. Um, so I have to be very uh, diligent on that time. I have to make it the most use of it as I can. And right now, NPCs are something that we need, so I have to do that. So, yeah. So I apologize if they are boring, but... At least you guys get to see the process. You get to answer, get questions answered. It's, it's a good time. So may the hue be with you. Thank you for watching. We will see you tomorrow night. Bye for now.